We are at the Neston Park shoot outside Bath and Dave Templer is training a cocker spaniel for field trials. He is walking up a cover crop with the wind behind him. That means the flush can take both dog and gun by surprise. Well done, gamekeeper Seb, for knocking it down. For the retrieve, however, the wind direction produces new difficulties and heavy use of the whistle, for which Dave beats himself up afterwards. It overtook it because I'm marking where it hit the ground, the dog's marking where it hit the ground. If you look at this cover, it all looks the same, flat piece of paper. Dog's down a lot lower than we are, so he's just marking the arc. And then when it hits the ground, he has to overtake it to smell it. I panicked a little bit, so as he went past it, I stopped him and then brought him back onto it. But actually, I stopped him knowing where it is. I've told him that when I blow that stop whistle, it's thereabouts. So he came back on the wind. So it's actually teaching yourself to sometimes calm down. So it realised that actually is a back wind. Let's work it. We tend to rush on and, you know, it's, 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 it's a weird thing because of the way the cover is. How long does it take Dave to put his dog on the next bird? The answer is 40 years. It's Dave's 40 years of experience that means he can find that next bird. Where are the birds going to be? Well, if you turn around there, there's an oak tree. And there's loads of acorns come off of it. If I was a pheasant, I'd be underneath that tree. I came here running a competition the other day and I thought I was going to flush a bird at the base of that tree. And then I realised there's a lightning tree and there's nothing in it, right? Whereas if it was an oak tree, you'd walk up to it. You go into a bare wood, look under a holly bush. There's usually a cockbird under a holly bush. It's dry, they've been digging away at it. So what you're doing is using that 40 years of game sense, I suppose, that you know, I've managed to be able to shoot everywhere and whatever. And that gives you a slight advantage. If you see the best people, they know how to judge the ground. Knowing where the bird is, is one thing. For field trial purposes, it's all about showing that the dog does the work. All the time you're trying to get the dog to keep quarter and turning, so he has to start to listen to the whistle. Now, I myself, I tend to rush quite a little. Not. I should calm down. It's terrible. I enjoy running them. It's a bit like racing a Ferrari, so I get the adrenaline rush out of it. Whereas I should slow down because actually the wind it's coming slightly from behind us. And if you watch the dog at times, it goes out a little bit and it starts to come back. And I really should stand still. Well, I'd have been happy with that flush and retrieve. But for field trials, you have to be a perfectionist. For more about Dave's training and breeding, visit countrywaysgundogs.com.